I don't know what's cooler. The fact that I'm on my way to Japan right now to buy one of my dream cars or the fact that I'm watching Gran Turismo on the flight there. I hear an RB26 in the wild. Oh my goodness, look at this! By the thumbnail and title of today's video, you guys can only imagine that something really special is going on today. Look at this, we have two R34 GTRs in line. This is my friend Jesse, he's a NASCAR driver. If you guys keep up with the Car Stories podcast that Sung Kang and I do together, you were a guest and that was the first time actually meeting. And yeah, yeah, we've yeah. become friends and now we're in Japan together. This is crazy. <laughs> Whoa, what song is that? As my buddy Stratman would say, views on views, baby, here in Japan. This is so crazy, I forgot what it's like to be on the side of the road. Oh my God. So does this have a modified exhaust? It does, it has a mine titanium silencer kit on it, which is absolutely amazing, I love it. How about we hear it in this tunnel? Yeah, we can do a little. Can we do a little? Nice yeah, subtle exhaust. Nice, subtle, like it's like not too loud or whatever. Now, once I bring it to the States, I'm obviously gonna do what we do in the States, right? And get this thing a lot louder. Whoa. TC will read us. <laughs> Boom. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tunnels, GTRs, 34s to be exact. <laughs> All right, we had to pull off. I had to take a moment to reflect. Almost seven years ago, I flew to Japan. I stayed in hostels, I'm not kidding, to produce content for YouTube. And I rented two of my dream cars. One was a Sylvia S15 and the other was an R34, but it was a GTT. And I drove this car around Tokyo as well as a Sylvia S15. It was one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had. I can't stop smiling. God, I would buy it if I could. <laughs> I have a strong feeling this is exactly what my garage is going to look like. And today, as you can see in the thumbnail title of today's episode, I have now come back to Japan almost seven years later to buy what is and always has been one of my dream cars, a Nissan R34 GTR and in Bayside Blue, the same color I drove almost seven years ago when I rented the car in Japan. You know what's worse than constantly wanting to buy more cars? It's having a ton of debt from multiple different sources like credit cards, medical bills, loans, those car part payment plans, and not knowing the best and most efficient way to take care of it. And that's where today's sponsor, PDS Debt, comes in to help. If you're making payments every month on your debt and those balances aren't going down, this program is for you. PDS Debt provides options that consolidate your debts into one low monthly payment, making the whole process easy for getting your financial health in order. You could save thousands in interest and fees and pay off your debt in a fraction of the time. Everyone with $10,000 or more of eligible debt qualifies and there's no minimum credit score required. PDS Debt is offering a free debt analysis and it's only going to take 30 seconds. Head over to pdsdebt.com forward slash Amelia to get a free debt assessment today. Take the step towards financial freedom and let PDS Debt do the hard work for you. Thank you to PDS Debt for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. We are probably an hour 30 out from reaching Space Auto. And when we get there, there's gonna be this amazing, amazing vehicle sitting right there ah, for you. I can't wait, Beautiful I can't dealership. wait. <laughs> I can't believe this. Thank you so much for helping to make oh, this yeah. happen. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I do think you and I's story mm -hmm. is a testament to you guys can really achieve anything in your wildest dreams. You got this, we believe in you. Remember that life rewards those who stay strong enough, long enough. So as you guys know, I have been looking to buy a car from Top Rank. I love the guys over there, no bad blood whatsoever. This opportunity came up at a new dealership I hadn't heard about called Space Auto. And that's where we are at today because I had the opportunity of a lifetime. Oh, wow. <gasps> they have a white S15 here too. What? And a blue one, but I've been looking to find a white Head one. North, then turn right. 
did they put this out on purpose? Did they know I was coming? Uh, maybe. Did they put that on the right. If that is for sale, we might be leaving here with two cars today. <laughs> Everything you see here is for sale, including this car, not this car. <laughs> actually, not for sale. Well, actually, I don't know. For the right, the right price, offer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, a business is a business. <laughs> Wait, I might be buying another car. If you want to, I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome we got... to Disneyland. I know. <laughs> Hey, nice to see Hi. you. Hi. You too. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. Oh, nice thanks for you. having no. me. Yeah, this is so cool. Wait, what year is that? S15? Which one? What year? Oh, yeah, yeah, 2001. Oh, that's 2001. Okay. I want, I'm looking for a 99. A yeah, white yeah, spec yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's here <laughs> no, now. Not it's in the screen. It's yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you watched the movie, Gran Turismo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's thank so cool. you. Yeah, I'm Sorry. <laughs> I forgot you were back here. I'm just waiting. <laughs> I got distracted. Oh. My apologies. Someone's <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the back. Nice to see you. I forgot, too. I got so caught up to it. Nice. You didn't say we're all like, Harvey, like, but we showed up and just got distracted. Yeah. <laughs> two, hours <laughs> two hours later. Two hours later. Two hours later. We got an S13. Sean is stuck staring at this R32. We've got a Stasia, we got an Evo 5, we have an Evo 6, we have an NSX, we've got all the cars. Take a look at this, this is a T Mackinac, super rare, not a lot, but of course you guys have them here. You of course you're gonna have them here. Yeah, That's just the outside, outside. Really? we don't need to get inside. I see a Mark IV Supra, I see an FDR X7, I see a lot of Porsches too, I've been seeing more Porsches yeah, exactly. pop up, which Beautiful. is awesome. Oh Beautiful. my god, a Hako. That's that's also another dream of mine. Yeah. I'm gonna rack up a large bill here. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing, you guys. This is JDM Heaven. Yeah, it goes all the way to the wall. And non-stop. And this is only one warehouse. This is the Z Tune. This isn't a real Z Tune. This no, can't be a real one. This no. isn't a real one, but yeah. Yeah, it's inspired it... by Z Tune stuff. Like so a lot of the guys that have the 34s, they put a lot of the Nismo parts. So, you know, some This is replica fenders replica. for the Z-Tune because exactly. there was only 19 only of the Z-Tunes. It's right? estimated to be about 19 in existence, yeah. I like how I'm just saying how cool all these other cars are. I haven't even shown the one that I'm buying yeah, today. Yeah, it smells <laughs> oh, that's, that's right. <laughs> this is the V-Spec 2 N1. This is one of 63. This is inspired. when they completely gutted them for yeah, yeah, exactly. uh, for, yeah. for racing purposes. Look at that right there. V-Spec 2 N1. It's basically a race car. How much do you think this is going for sale for right now? I have no idea, but yeah. I'm sure they're gonna ask for, uh, you know, so for a good amount, just because it's rare. How much for this one, the V Spec 2 N1? More than you can afford, pal. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think, ballpark? Uh, he doesn't want to give a number. He's like, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. <laughs> didn't decide it yet. Oh, you haven't decided yet? No. How much do other ones typically go for? Two, three, one million? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's hard to say with these because, you know, when they're they, so rare. When they find them at the auctions and then they get them. Yeah. And then they have to, like, you know. Bro, they, finding this at an auction? Yeah. That's such a crazy Wait, thought. Actually, Did was you find this one auction or was this one a. a, a oh, this one we bought from customer. Okay, okay so I was going to say, yeah, this is like. Difficult, yeah. yeah. So this is a private, a private purchase. Yeah, that's right. Wait, Jesse, show me what happened. What happened? Did you scratch a car? No, <gasps> oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something. So. What? I went to the car and I was like, oh, I forgot my phone. So I went and grabbed my phone. And then after I grabbed it, I was looking underneath the car, right? Anytime it's in the air, it's a good chance to just check and make sure there's no leaks or anything weird going on. So I'm looking, looking, looking. Then I saw a little bit of plastic hanging from some metal. I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, where's this plastic from? It's like there's some extra screws or whatever after they install something. Hanging you know, from where? Under the car? Under the car, there was a little bit of metal, right? Okay. And then I saw this magnet in this. <gasps> yeah. Well, you don't fuck in there. Someone's tracking you. Somebody was tra trying to track the car. Yeah. Dead ass serious. Yeah. Holy shit. It was, they, they, they used a magnet to stick it up on a metal piece and it had this tracker on it. That's crazy. Was that on yeah. yours or mine? On mine. On yours. Yeah. You should check oh, yours now. I'm smiling. Right? It's not funny. I'm like, no, I, I smile. When, when real I shit goes on, mine. I smile. Yours, I should yeah. check mine right now too because they probably bugged both of them. Because we've been together pretty much the whole yeah. time. Like always pretty much parking yeah. very close. Where'd you find it? Let's go look your car right now. That's actually really cool. Let's go check your car now. Where did you find it? He's like, it's rad. He's like, oh Wait, dead ass. Someone just tried tracking your car. How come we didn't get notifications? We all have iPhones. 
either. Yeah. We, we all have iPhones. Usually get something saying someone's been following you. Wait, I can't believe that's it was real. Literally sitting right here, just like this. And the only reason I noticed Whoa. it was I was right here. I grabbed my phone and I came over here and I was looking underneath, looking underneath to make sure there's no leaks or anything weird like that or whatever. You know, obviously they just did, the, they're doing oil, so there's a little bit. So I'm looking, looking, okay, no, I'm about to leave and I see this plastic. Is like, it on I yours keep too? I'm getting detection notification on my phone. Is that You're what getting it? Is? it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's Wait, doing? is there one on yours yeah. too? It's gotta be because when we're driving, we keep getting But I wasn't getting notified about it. Yeah, maybe it. we'll put it yeah, on I the lift either. and try to find it. We'll put my car on the lift. Yeah, put yours on the lift. Because I checked on the back, I didn't see it. That is crazy. Dude. Because we're parked next to each other at the hotel underground. But That's bad shit. We keep getting like tracking yeah, notifications. Right you were even telling night. me, you're like, when you pick up your car, park it in a garage yeah, because they get stolen all I the time. Literally, I literally, that was one of the first yeah. things I told her. Like, make sure you always find hotels that you can park in an indoor garage, everything. You don't want to leave that thing outside. We've done it before. I have lived in, left it outside, you know, overnight, you know, multiple nights, but I don't like doing Yo, it. Yo, what the f Can you like trace? Can you bring this to an Apple store and. and I hope. I'll take it back. We're going to take it all the way to the US and be like, oh, dang, the car left the country. We <laughs> you should take this with you. Just f <laughs> with us. Go put it on a Honda Civic or something. So, <laughs> <laughs> Cindy's pinging right here. See, we were getting pinged oh, three days on ago. the phone. See? Oh, they've been following you guys for yeah. a while. So. I've been getting on my phone. I didn't know what it was. This is where it first detected. Was at this hotel. Yokohama? Oh, that was in our Yokohama hotel. That 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 is where we were staying. That's where what it first detected. Fuck? Oh shit. That's that's where we're staying. All right, well that was a weird energy shift because we now realize that you guys have been tracked for the last three days. We're gonna unveil my car. <laughs> well, they put Jay's car on a lift to see if we can find another tracker on it. But I am so proud to finally take delivery and introduce to you guys my Bayside Blue R34 GTR. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god, this blue pops. <gasps> oh wow. I can't believe this is real life. I can't believe this on the T37s, boy. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Well, what's cool is when you fly halfway across the world, you go to the home country of where this thing was built and you get this car, the Godzilla of this country right here in Japan. And it's yours. Yeah. Very, very good condition. Looks I, it looks like it just rolled off the factory a lot. The and the cool thing is, you guys, this is a 1999, which means it is eligible to be brought back to the States. So I will be driving this car. In fact, I will be daily driving an R34 GTR when I get back to America. That sounds weird to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Wow. Yeah, so it's so cool. clean. Super clean. No mods, no stupid aftermarket intake, no, no nothing. It's 99, so I can import it. It's clean. It's bone stock. So this is everything I, I could have ever hoped and dreamed for. Now you finally have one. And this is color it. color too. You're I in know. Japan Perfect with color. it. <laughs> and right after filming an, um, a Nissan movie. <laughs> Boom. There you go. There you go. There you go. You should show the interior a little I'm, bit. I'm about to right now. Clean. Everything about this is, is, this looks like fresh off the, the factory lot. Even these seats aren't even faded at all. I am sitting in my very own R34 GTR for the first time. This is so weird. I'm gonna drive this for the very first time in a second. The guys here at Space Auto. I'm paying full price for this car. This isn't that. They have already registered the vehicle for me here in Japan so that I can drive it. First fire R34 GTR. This is trippy. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> that scared me! <laughs> also, I'm sure you guys noticed how aggressively high the ride height is on this car. It's just a Japan regulation thing. I'll be lowering it when I get back to the States. I can't begin to tell you guys the amount of times I wanted to give up, the amount of times I wanted to quit. Life's been so hard. I worked my ass off to be able to buy this car today and to be where I am today. And I can't take sole credit for it. It's because of you guys watching these videos and supporting me in all of this that this is possible. So thank you guys. I'm gonna try not to cry. I think I'm just jet lagged in Japan. <laughs> but thank you guys. Oh, this is a dream. I'm driving in Japan. 
It's so scary. And the Nissan dealership right behind me. Shout out Nissan. <laughs> this is the coolest thing in the world. Tell me this isn't yeah, the, coolest this is the coolest thing in the world. What the frick? Bro, that's a police officer? It's a V6 like chopper. <laughs> what? <laughs> Should I launch it? I don't want to break it in Japan. Yeah, just do it like I oh, wouldn't launch it. Ghost ride it. You won't. <laughs> we did a little mountain road. I didn't film any of it because I'm just enjoying this car. And we're back. We're headed back to Space Auto right now, you guys. I love this. So does this thing have, have balls or? My s faster, huh? Okay, I know I said I was going to keep this stock. Yeah, it's not fast enough, is it? It, it I might go big single turbo, but I'm going to keep it looking stock. <laughs> Thousand horsepower. What do you guys expect? It's me. Come on. I, I, I would like a I would like a little more horsepower. She can take it. <laughs> Came back to Space Auto in order to put our luggage into my car. The guys here are honestly so great. They gave me an ETC card, which is basically car for tolls. They got the car registered and insured for me. They took care of absolutely everything and their hospitality here is through the roof. So this has been such a great car buying experience. Is he taking the Evo 5 to dinner? Yeah, yeah. you're he's really just like, just taking it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's like, so like... gangster. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Maybe. I just bought this, but kind <laughs> of. I've never driven an Evo 5. I would love to drive this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm modding the GDR. We're going to an underground car meet in Tokyo right now. The address for today was literally sent out to people today, and it's supposed to be crazy. I haven't seen GTRs left and right. How do I get in? And I guess I need a ticket? Just walk up the ramp. You just walk up the we ramp. Tried I the tried. I, I got yelled at. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm at. I know where I'm at. In a bowling alley. But we've, we're going to find our way. We're being guided right now by some very lovely people. We're all following this lady with the panda hoodie. I love it. <laughs> I think we found it. <laughs> I'm still trying to find one to buy. It has not been easy. You'd be surprised how hard it is to buy a clean S15. It's easier to buy a GTR. So that was the meet. It was a little dark. It was my first underground car meet that I've ever been at in Tokyo. So it was really cool to get to experience. I wish I could film more, but again, it was dark. Next up, I want to go see Daikoku. So until next time. <laughs> <laughs>